try your luck on Jackpot. Join a coin flip with as many skins as possible for a 50% chance to win double. Daily giveaway contests constantly being run on site using our flash giveaway. RustyPots.com Ladies and gentlemen, I'd just like to thank RustyPot for sponsoring this video. Now remember, click the link at the top of the description if you're 18 years or older, and also to gamble responsibly. What is going on YouTube? So we're coming at you with another, well, base build, not Rust gameplay this time. And today I am doing the base that you all asked for a long time ago. It is my unrated base. I mean, we've li we've lived on it. I think the longest period is like uh, maybe like four or five days, something like that. And yeah, it just looks like a real bitch to raid and might not even be worth it. And I don't know, it's just really good for a solo or a duo. So yeah, this is Selwyn's unrated base design. All for you guys. I've come up with a couple of new ones, but um, another time, huh? Alright, well let's start with the build. It's very easy. So we'll start off with these two squares. Triangle, triangle. This triangle over here, you can pick, it doesn't really matter. One of these will be your drop down. So, put it too high. Double door frame down below, that is a must, and a single up top. And then, just gonna jump up, place that there. Excellent! Now, this looks like honeycomb, but it's not. So we're gonna have that there like so, and we're going to put a square here, and we're going to put a staircase there like that, and we're going to grab this staircase, bada bing, bada boomskies, now for this part. So we're gonna put a half wall there, and then put our high walls here. Right. Now the reason we're doing that is we're doing that stability trick here. So two triangles there, like so, and then you can just delete these walls and put whole walls, and then you're left with these two triangle thing up bobs here. Right. Let's chuck a roof on top. Excellent. Now we're going to put a wall here, a wall here, a double door frame here, a double door frame there, and there. Now. The first things first that you're gonna want to do, you probably want to start. You can do this from a starter base, if you're, uh, if you, if you, if you do it well. But um, there's been this new thing implemented where you can't place garage doors if something's through the uh, wall. Here, let me show you for example. Before, if there was something like that, for example, you can place the garage door still. But now you cannot. So you want the garage door first. We're going to put it facing that way. And then we're going to put these two on that. Have that there. Alright, let's open these up. So. We want a tier C and a tier 2. Place the TC there like that. Tier 2. Like that. See, we wouldn't be able to place a garage door on this... Um, if we place the uh, tier two first. All right, shelves. Chuck a shelf in here, like so. Grab some boxes. Boom. Jump up here. Oh, place this box. And that box, like that. Now we got our small boxes. Um, so we've got a small box there, we've got our three large boxes there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to slide some boxes right on down those little shafts here. There we go, now for our small boxes. Oh, it's a little tricky to get this one, but you can... Um, what we'll do is we'll place our furnaces first here. Also, this furnace right here, this will be your way out. That'll be the drop down right there. So you want one of those pretty quickly, otherwise you'll be stuck in here. And that's how we normally have it. Maybe a little less furnaces. Sometimes we might get rid of these two here, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. Jump up here, place a small box there. And we'll place a small box there. Now, these are these are just guides. Obviously, you can place these a lot neater. 
Nice. Okay. Now, what do you want? Shotgun traps. I like to have three, personally. Now, this makes this base pretty unreadable by doors, but it looks like it would be an easy raid by doors. And once they get in, they're, uh, they kind of get screwed over a little. Go, okay, we got our three shotgun traps. Uh, got some bags. Solo duo, so we'll just have two bags there. Now that that's done, check it out. It's pretty, there's a lot of storage down there. It's pretty good. Okay, so, now for the top level. Half walls all around these. And then put your triangles there like so. And we're just gonna do these walls here. Single door, single door to create one way airlock in that part. Nice. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna place a half wall here. A whole wall there. And a whole wall there. We're gonna place a whole wall there, whole wall there. The reason we have it at half wall here, so we can have a double door there. And then we've got that. The airlock. Alright. I like to have a garage door here too, because why not? So, let's chuck our doors on. And you could even um, you know. Chuck a shotgun trap. Right. There. If you wanted. You can see it kind of easily there, but, you know, the unsuspecting pool kit might run in at some point. Alright, so the upkeep at the moment on the honeycomb part, pretty cheap. 2,400 stone, 340 metal frags. What we're going to do now is we're going to uh, honeycomb real quick. So... Let's start with the top. You want a honeycomb, you drop down. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a square here and a square here. And we're gonna get that too high. Just like that. And then we'll have honeycomb here on all sides. And this only needs to go one line. There you go. That is pretty much it. Now let's let's uh, see what it's like in its upgraded forms. What we'll do is we'll uh, get it fully sheet metal. Alright, this is our fully sheet metal base. And this is the cost. 3,115 metal frags. Really cheap. So, let me tell you what you want to upgrade to high qual to begin with. Definitely all... <sighs> all these ceilings! Now, to upgrade some of these ceilings, you might have to remove a box, but, you know, that's fine. Alright, now that that is all upgraded to high qual the roof. So look at the TC, the cost. 12 high qual, not bad. Next part of the high qualing period is this. And you'll have that box high qual. If this is close enough to the ground, you don't necessarily need it high qual. But because it has TC on it, I do like to uh, high qual that. With all the main parts high qualed, 28 high quality day, 2,900 metal frags. Perfect solo duo base. Especially with oil rig now, you get high quality that easily. Now let's uh, see what it's like in its final form with all of this inside high quality. Alright, another thing I forgot to mention is you definitely want that part high quality as well. Not too bad so far. The drop down, pretty important as well, actually. I'd say I'd say it's probably more important than these walls. So when you um when you're upgrading, do the drop down before you do those walls over there and there. Alright, let's have a look, see what the upkeep is. 71 high qual, 2,600 frags a day. Really easy once you uh, get a foothold. Me, uh, uh, my, myself and Pookie, we've had no issues. Now, for this part up here, this is where the tier 3 goes. Like that. 
And we're gonna chuck our small boxes under. You can actually fit two under here. Do that. Do that. Done. And uh, another thing, you know, we we sometimes put a repair bench up here, a research table, but we have all BPs. So. If we, if we really need to skin anything, we normally just whack the uh, repair bench down and we'll uh, kind of just deck this uh, hallway out with boxes. Oh, you also have to close the garage door down below before you can place another box. So there you go. Another four boxes there. You can put a furnace there or a small box. It's up to you. Pretty easy to get through. So yeah, this is a base design we've used a lot actually, and yeah, we've never been raided in it. Looks kind of small, like an easy door raid, but you know, you go through one, two, three, three uh, normal doors, garage door, then you get to this door, and oh, it's just cancer raiding drop down bases. It is hard. So most of the time now, especially now that this has gone public, people are probably just going to blow straight in with rockets. But who knows, you might end up like us and not get raided in it. It's a simple, cheap base design, really easy to do, and it has my uh, seal of approval. It is tried and true, served us well. Ah, oh, also guys, the announcement, as promised, uh, I'm moving out. So there won't be uh, many uploads over the next, you know, I'd say week while we wait for the internet to come in, um, but this is from the uh, 25th that I'm saying this, so who knows, like, we might be back up and running before even the, um, before you even notice I'm gone. But I dare say we'll probably miss a few days, um, but yeah, it's a big move, I'm moving across the state, I'm moving in with, uh, Pookie, yeah, it's just a, it's a really cool thing. Also, guys, I'd just like to point out that uh, in its sheet metal stage, it is a 16 rocket raid, not really raidable by doors. And when it's uh, fully finished, this base is a 23 rocket raid. So yeah, it's it's pretty expensive for this little old thing. And that's not including the garage doors, but with the garage doors, you want to add an extra six rockets onto either upgraded version of that. But anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoy uh, the base design. Hope you get tons of loot, fill it up, live long and prosper. How it sways in the sun Keeping your stories In its motion Lies the truth